When we think about exposition, we have to think about the root to expose. It implies uh, that there is something that is hidden that needs uh, to be uncovered, to be brought out. And when we're talking about exposition as it relates to scripture, what we're talking about exposing is the very voice of God. There, there are three primary doctrines that are articulated in scripture that I think compel us to do biblical exposition as a practice. The first one is the doctrine of revelation. In the book of Genesis, at the beginning, the first chapter, repeatedly, the scriptures tell us God said. Well, if that's true, that God has spoken, then we as preachers and teachers are compelled to expose that voice of God to people. The very fact that the God of universe has opened his mouth and spoken compels us to tell other people what he said. A second doctrine is the doctrine of the inspiration of scripture. If, if we believe what we say we believe about the nature of scripture, about the word of God, then we are compelled to to, when we communicate it to people, keep it as close to the way that the Spirit gave it to us as possible. Peter said no prophecy of Scripture came by anyone's uh, own interpretation, but holy men of God spoke as they were moved along by the Holy Spirit. The, the third doctrine is, is just the doctrine of salvation. Uh, the very fact that the new birth and uh, everything that follows it, the sanctification process and the glorification process comes about by the word of God. Peter said in his second epistle, chapter one, you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable seed. The grass withers and the flower falls, but the word of the Lord remains forever. And this word is the good news that was preached to you. So put away all malice and all deceit and hypocrisy and envy and all slander like newborn infants. Long for the pure spiritual milk that by it you may grow up into salvation. So God has ordained that his word be the primary agent that the spirit uses to give us new birth and to grow us and transform us into the image of Christ leading all the way to eternity. God's word is ultimately manifest in the person of Jesus Christ. John chapter 1, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. The written word is intended to lead us to the living word in Jesus Christ, the person who's responsible for our salvation. And so when you step back and look at it, exposition is a Trinitarian approach. The revealed or spoken word leads to uh, the written word that, that points us to the living word.